Alright guys, this is VCS Strad here with my very first Adobe After Effects tutorial. Um, this is pretty much, I'm just going to teach you how to keyframe and everything that's around it. So here I've already been doing some stuff. Um, and uh, I've been keyframing some radial blur. Um, so I'm going to just show you how I do, um, what I do when I use Adobe and kind of the basics. Um, so when you first open up Adobe After Effects, you're going to see, notice a lot, and it's kind of confusing at first. It's a lot different than Sony Vegas 8 or 9 or whatever. Now, um... Some what I first did is I kind of tested all these out just to see what format I liked, and uh, I just like standard because everything else is so weird looking. Not that this isn't, but um, so you have your composition box where you'll preview your video, you have your project box where all the stuff in your project that you're working on will be here, and you have all the effects that are in that project right here. And, um, so, you have your effects over here, and the cool thing about this that's different than Vegas is you can search effects. Now, I'm just going to search this on purpose. These are the CC effects. Um, not sure what the specific name of it was, but CC effects. Just go on YouTube and si type in CC plugin download for free. And you'll find something, I guarantee it, at like rapid share download or whatever. Um, so, that's how you do that. But you can also search some other effects like hue and all that stuff. Um, so, now I recommend if you've never used this, use Sony Vegas because you won't be able to use this until you've actually used some other editing program that's actually kind of hard. So, don't use this if you don't know what you're doing. Um, so, now I'm going to go to composition. This is how to start a composition. You can either click composition, new composition, or you can click this little create a new composition. Um, I most of the time just go up here because I'm old school and I just, yeah. So I do NTSC DV widescreen. Um, I mean there's a whole different bunch of choices, but, um, just gonna leave it at widescreen and uh, duration doesn't really matter um, okay so first thing you see is a black box to zoom in or zoom out you can use your scroll wheel period to zoom in and comma to zoom out so that's how that works now if you're like wondering oh man some of the part of my video is cut out. It's so zoomed in, I don't know why. Well, just go to here, fit up to 100%, and it'll make it a perfect size to where it fits perfectly so you can see everything. Now, once you're done with everything in your video and you want to preview it, you can go to RAM Preview. And you click this, and there'll be a green bar that goes across, and it'll um, pre render it, and you'll be able to watch it with the what it'll look like when you fully render it. Um, so let's uh, get into a little keyframing. Uh, I'll make probably a tutorial on that, a full one. So I'm gonna just add a layer. If you want to add like a solid layer of text, just go up here, text, solid. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to apply text and I'm gonna keyframe a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to type in I am cool or something like that. Um, let's make it all caps. Like that. Sick. Alright, I am cool. Right, so, um, now there's a bunch of different text you can choose from and they're all over here but I just I'm just gonna use one and here's how you choose your text size you click on this and choose the text size and everything else just don't even mess with 
up here is where you can choose your text color I'll just do red or something obviously it's not going to do anything for me so but anyways now effects I'm just here's how pretty much you added an effect I'm just going to put in one and delete it I'm just going to show you how to add one I'm going to just take the effect and I'm just going to drag it on to the to the layer right here and uh, yeah kind of looks weird but that, that's just how you add an effect I'll make a tutorial on that too so I'm going to keyframe here's basically what you do you click on this triangle next to the color box of the uh, layer click on text and then no you don't click on text you can click on transform and then if you want to keyframe like the position and make it move around you can you click on the position and it automatically creates a keyframe right there and that's what it is gonna be so I'm gonna move it over here or something and click right here that's the new keyframe add or remove I'm just gonna add one and I'm going to make it move and I'm gonna also click on the scale and I'm gonna make it bigger yes so that's what this will look like um, So I'm going to kind of just make it zoom out, then back in, and move a little bit. So basically, I mean, you can do whatever you want with this, but that's to add keyframes, and then click on the watch. You have to click on the watch to start the keyframes. So, and then once you've done all that, just double tap LL, and it will make all that just go away because uh, it's kind of annoying looking at all that so I'm gonna go up to my pre-render and it's gonna see the green line go across and that's telling you how close it is alright so here's what's gonna happen it's gonna zoom out and zoom in so that's from keyframing um, so that's pretty cool not really quick but to export which is kinda like rendering fully in Sony Vegas you go to export I would do AVI if you're gonna open up open it open it up in Sony Vegas and then you just click AVI OK and then you can make all your settings here's what I recommend you do this to best you make it now this is just me but I make it DV NTSC and actually no scratch that I'll just keep it Cinepack and I'll make it best and then you just click OK and then you click OK audio doesn't really matter but yeah then you just type in whatever you want and it does it but yeah that's pretty much it uh, that's all you need to know uh, I'm gonna do tutorials more in depth on this um, once I learn and all that post comments um, subscribe rate and uh, Make sure you ask questions because I need questions to have ideas. And uh, I'll keep making tutorials if you want. And just give me the word if you think I shouldn't because uh, I'm new to this. So, But that's just basically what to do. And uh, yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe.